Him Zanzi, it is very unfortunate because sometimes when we are very fine, we think everybody is fine too, especially celebrities because they always show us mostly the luxury part of their life and the enjoyment phases of their life. In today's video, Ayanda Nwane actually broke silence about the fact that she almost passed away. In fact, she passed away, she went to the life of the dead and came back to life for a particular purpose. Make sure to watch this video right up to the end so that you get to understand everything that she reviewed. Before I give you all the entire details, do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment and hit on to my post notification bell. Former reality TV show star and businesswoman Ayanda Nwane recalled seeing her life flash before her eyes when she went through a near-death experience as she returned to social media following a huge hiatus already and of course has decided to speak about all the trial moments that she was going through as far as these few months are concerned. Ayanda's return to social media also marked the launch of her YouTube channel whereby she is going to be bent in spreading the good news of the Most High. She told of the near-death experience in the very first video on her channel and on Instagram and this shocked the hearts of so many people what she was going through for all these months. Sometime around April, the former cast member of the Real Housewives of Durban shared her travels to Doha and Paris on social media. However, on the 19th of April 2023, she found herself in the hospital after traveling and this was the start of all the tragic story. She claimed that at exactly 2 a.m. She had, she had an encounter in the spirit rhythm. Ayanda, the widow of gospel musician Sfiso Mwane, said she had a near-death experience where she saw herself standing next to herself. Apparently, it was her soul looking at her body. She saw her life flash before her eyes, with the first picture being that of her eldest son. Mwane said that she felt an indescribable feeling during the encounter and that research suggests it was a near-death experience. She recalled the spirit telling her that they were there to fetch her and that she was actually dying that day. Because of this reason, Mwane decided to accept her calling. Ayanda said she recognized the challenges that lay ahead, particularly with regard to the growing number of fake pastors in South Africa. She said the most difficult part about her experience was telling her two sons that she died and came back. It was the most horrifying moment for me. I was looking at my young son's face tearing up when I told them that what exactly happened to me. In their heads, obviously, they were thinking, we just almost lost another parent. She lost her husband on the 5th of December 2016, as he passed away due to a kidney failure at the age of 37. Things are so not well already, and so many South African celebrities are going through a very thick moment right now. You will tell me what you think about all what has been revealed already, and what Ayanda decided to share with us. I love you all so dearly and I'm going to be replying you all in the comment section.